What's up guys, Kenneth 64 here, and today I'm back with Sanic Mania. Last time, I presume we were going to the Press Garden and the Start of Speedway. Well, definitely the Start of Speedway, because we were doing that last episode. I, I'm guessing because... Because, again, like, it's been a while since I played, played all these games, but... Yeah, we're getting back to the nitty-gritty of things. So we're just gonna blaze through Hydra City. You know what, actually, ironically, uh, as of the recording of this episode, which actually was, or is, at the end of June, for some reason, there's a controversy, I guess, about, like, how, about, like, how people, uh, pronounce Hydra City, which, for me personally, I pronounce it as Hy Hydra City, but, um, I spell it out as one word. So it's like... Yeah. I just thought I'd measure that because, like, it was kind of, like, weird about, like, that just going on. I don't know if that's, like, still happening when when this episode or video is being uploaded, but that'd be kind of funny if, if it is still is. Yeah, anyway, we're just gonna... I think to this episode, I might actually do, um... Uh, Oil Ocean as well. Because I know that's after Mirage Saloon, which is after this stage. So, yeah. Really depends on how fast we blaze through this level and, uh, Mirage Saloon. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna say this, slash I've already said this in the, the Sonic 3 video for the current episode of the playthrough, but uh, I am aware that Sonic Origins exists. In fact, I actually have it, but that does not that does not mean that I'm n n that I'm gonna swap from Sonic 3 Complete to Sonic 3 in Origins. Especially because, like, Sonic 3 Complete is, like... I mean, there's, like, some stuff that's, like, shared, I guess, between Sonic 3 Complete and Sonic 3 and Sonic Origins, um... But I will, I will admit that Sonic 3 in Origins actually does have some, like, nice stuff that they've added that, like, it's really nice, like... Like, they've added some, like, additional, like, sprites of, like, when Sonic, Tails, and I think Knuckles are turning on, like, the barrel in Carnival Night. Like, they actually, like, the team actually made some, like, additional sprites for when Sonic is crouching while turning and looking up as well. Same applies for Super Sonic in, in Sonic 3. Like, like the sprites, they, they did a really great job with the sprites all around in Sonic 3 in Origins. And, and, and to be honest, I don't understand, like, why people are, like, like, hating on Sonic 3, because it's, like, even if, like, the, the, the music has been changed for legal reasons, uh, I don't understand, understand like, why people are expecting for Sega to use the, uh, the prototype, uh, music from... For the those three zones and stuff. It's like at this point, like I don't think they want anything to do with that. And plus, like at this point, it isn't necessarily like official stuff anymore. And so I think like remixing the PC music was uh, was a good thing to do. But that's just me. And look at that. We've been ta I've been talking so much that we managed to get to the boss. Now Eggman's in a swimsuit. Tails about to drown. That's. Hmm. Ah, we couldn't save him. Sorry, Tails. I was hoping he would grab that air bubble, not me. Oh well. Ah, dang it! 
stupid spikes. That's like... Like, 1 in 10 times that, that set of spikes actually gets me. I still, I still love that they, like, that they, A, kind of, like, swapped around the, uh, the bosses for Hydra City, but also, like, you actually use the Act 2 boss to, to beat the actual boss, which is really funny. And I like how, like, the, 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 the Act 2 boss for this game is the Act 1 boss, but, like, extended a bit, and I honestly think that's really neat. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game, I'm gonna be honest, like... From, like, from the use of unused sprites to, uh... To... Like, the attention to detail with... Um... Like, for example, like, Tails being scared of lightning in, uh... At the end of Metallic Madness. Hold up. <clears throat> Sonic got to act one! But, uh, also, like, Knuckles getting his own, like, alternate roots. I think it's really neat. Anyway, we're just gonna blaze on it Act 2, which... is a pretty cool one. Tails collected some rings down there for me. Thanks, buddy. And there he is. Oh my god, he almost died. Oh! <laughs> Man's making all the jumps, dude. I have not really utilized the Super Peel out much in this one. Then again, I did- I am just came back into everything, so... No, I want that! I said, I want that. Oh my god, Tails! I want those rings. God, I love this remix. I was not gonna about to take a risk with those stupid spikes. I was turning super ace out. Going down. Going down the slide. Kind of unfortunate that Super Sonic's Falling Sprite is not actually super. I think they like changed up some sprites for Super Sonic in the Mania Plus DLC, but it is unfortunate that the uh, the uh, the Falling Sprite hasn't changed much. And I understand that there's a couple of sprites that haven't changed either, but like some of them, like in the case of like the jumping animation, makes sense because like. It wouldn't look good, realistically, because Sonic would still need to be in, like, a ball shape, and, like, the way his spines are normally are, like, the way to do it. Also, like, that's what I was talking about, like, look at them, those spinning sprites. Like, the fact that, like, any time they actually go out of their way to make full-on custom sprites for Super Sonic, I always appreciate Oh boy, I almost just got squished by that because through a weird clip. Tails died. We're blazing through this. And look at that, we're at the boss. Hmm. Let's see. Oh boy. Sure, why not, why not? I want a lightning shield, that's why it came in the bonus stage for. On the top of the bonus stages, I just have to say, the the glowing orb bonus stage from Sonic 3 is so broken, dude. 
Like, if you're able to, like, spam that special stage over and over, you can, like, rack up so many rings. It's nuts. But anyway, we're just gonna make our way towards Eggman. And this is the strat. This is the strat. This is why I'm super. Uh, the, there we go. Watch this. Nice. Nope! Psych! And then I'm gonna do this. And then that. And that. And then... Boom. Strategies, people. going too fast in it. Alright, maybe it's time to stop messing around. I should probably actually get this guy. Come on, Egghead, die. Easy. And there goes my lightning shield. Sod it, got the rat, too! And that clears Hydra City. Oh, boy, look at our score. There's my bro laughing. Why are they crouching? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh my god, am I actually softlocked? I'm softlocked! I can't do anything! Oh my god, no. I'm straight up softlocked. I can't do anything. I'm pushing every single button on my controller right now. <laughs> I'm literally soft locked. And I don't want to push the home button in case that actually like resets this whole thing. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. I was super soft locked, dude. Okay, I I'm willing to bet that I have to go through Hydro City again. I really hope not, but if I do have to go through it, then I'll just cut to when we get to the end of the boss. Or at least when we get to the boss again, I don't know. But only time will tell. Alright game, be nice to me, please. Thank you! Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god. The game is so kind. I cannot believe that. I guess soft block, but the game said decided to be nice. Sonic Mania, thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the score, because we were literally like 40 points from getting another, or 100,000, or 6,000, 600,000, excuse me. Anyway, we are in Mirage Saloon Act 1, which is Sky Chase 2. And I'm getting zucked by these stupid idiots. Honestly, I love that Tails has some, like, uh, headgear for piloting the plane. I also love, like, that it actually gets some additional sprites, like, going up and down. It's really, really nice, like... Like, I'm telling you, like, the additional sprites that they have for, for this stuff is amazing. Like, the devs of Head Cannon and stuff, Stealth and whatnot, Christian Whitehead, like, those guys really knew, knew what they were doing with this game, and to an extent Sonic 3. Even if Sonic 3 was in a poor state at when it released in Origins, but... Again, like, I still think that that was fine. It's like, it's still Sonic 3 to me, that's all like, that matters. But I will say though, across all four games in Sonic Origins, it is so nice to have the drop dash. And it's, it's even better that I can actually like stack it with the Insta Shield and the Super Peel Out in uh, Sonic 3 and CD, respectively. And here comes the Robotnik Express. Or, or more appropriately, the Eggman Express. Alright. 
just gonna grab this big ring real quick. Something I think is kind of neat has is that like these floor tiles, they're, they basically look like the Triforce. Like you can't tell me otherwise. That's basically the Triforce just plastered across the thing. I I want those rings. I. Also, uh, that's also a nice detail that like this stuff is like being transferred to oil ocean apparently, which which is the next zone. Get me the lightning shield, my favorite shield. Boom. Nah, I don't. I was gonna go in there for rings, but I don't need it. Pew. Eh. All right, let's get some caterpillar action after the heavy magician does her magician stuff. I believe the magician is the she. All right, let's do this. I initially found this boss really annoying, but after learning how it works, I can now like semi cheese it, and it's really nice. See, easy game. That was like thirty seconds. And with that, the sky chase has been cleared, and Sonic got through Act One. So let's just cruise on to Act 2. But first, we got a little bit of a hooligan stuff. And it's Bark. Yo, what up, Bark? Mr. Polar Bear Man. It's honestly nice to see those guys return. Even if it's like a cameo, like one of them shoots the plane down, but the fact that like the Heavy Magician turns into them, that means that they get an extended uh, cameo in this uh, game. Which, funny enough, is more than the, the cameo that Amy gets, which is kind of upsetting, but at least she gets an entire episode in uh, Sonic Mania Adventures. Anyway, we're just gonna blaze through Act 2. Got that nice extra life. Honestly, I'm I'm glad that like in terms of like uh, unused content, this stage actually has a really like really neat history because like it was inspired by Desert Dazzle from that, which is a uh, a level that Christian Whitehead was gonna have for the t 2011 remake slash port of uh, Sonic CD. Which itself, I believe, was inspired by, uh, whatever that sand desert level was called. Like, Sand Canyon or something from Sonic 2. Which I think people mistook as Dust Hill Zone, which I believe was the a prototype uh, name for Mystic Cave. But yeah, I actually, like, read into it, like, not too long ago from as of recording this video. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're about to take on the Heavy Magician as Super Sonic. And up first is Mr. Fang. Too it's really unfortunate that these guys don't really get, like, these guys don't really stand a chance against Super Sonic. Hey, yo, Bean. Honestly, I like that Bean actually, like, has the, the, the same kind of, like, hurt animation that, uh, that uh, Sonic and Mighty have. And Fang is dead. And that clears Mirage Saloon. Looking at the time, I think we have I think we got enough time for Oil Ocean, so let's do it. So as Sonic got the rack too! Let's head on to Oil Ocean. By way of uh, the gun. You. There we go. <laughs> I love this remix of Oil Ocean, honestly. 
I may not be a big fan of this zone in both this, well, in Sonic 2, and to a lesser extent this game. Even, cause like, even though I kind of like, kind of enjoy this zone in this game, but I, I love the music in this zone. Especially in Mania, the remix is really nice. The, the remixes in Mania are just all in all of this stuff. Awesome. Especially Lava Reef. Oh, and Flying Battery. Love Flying Battery's remix. Remixes, rather. I also love the, the joke of, like, the fire shield says the oil on fire. It's like, I think that's, like, a joke that, like, everyone has done in their life where they're just, like, any sort of, like, fire just explodes the entirety of oil ocean. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? What the heck? What even gives? What the frick? Tails, I might need some assistance, please. Alright, Tails. Oh no! No! I accidentally hit Super PL instead of A in first. I made some big mistakes. I, I need to step up my game to, to finish this zone. I don't usually go this way. At least I don't think I do. Ow! Oh boy. Are we at the boss yet? No, we're not. Ay -ay. Hey, no, we're not at the boss yet. Oh, right, now we are. Hmm, this stupid fan has a mind of its own. Alright, fine. Take on this, this guy with the wrench. The propeller hurts, I forgot. Alright, uh, eh. Oh, dang it. Okay, gotta be in the middle. And, hello? Dead. Hey, extra life, too. Nice. Hey, 64. Look at that. Anyway, Sonic got to F1. I did not just say that. Actually, no, I did not say that, because you guys definitely, definitely heard me say Act 1, right? Right, Editor Me? You definitely heard that? Definitely did not just say Act 2 on accident. So, uh, yeah, uh... Oh, you know what? The reason why I mistook it for Act 2 is because I was actually mistaking it for, um... Actual Sonic 2 in which... Uh, the boss fight is in Act 2, and not Act 1. It's because I, I was playing, uh, Sonic 2 on, uh... On Origins, and that was, that was like, last week that I... Or wait, not last week, um... Like a couple days ago or whatever, that I had actually like played all all four games in Origins and Sonic 2 was still in my mind. Anyway, we're just gonna cruise along. I miss that like a dummy. I'm gonna see if I can get back up there. Come on, Tails, you got a big job, and he's made it. Okay, now to get back down there and do that. Okay. I also like how like the music gives some like desert-ish vibes, and the like the act itself is like 
it seems to be inspired by uh, Sandopolis. So that kind of like, that's honestly like a really nice detail that like, this act pulls some elements from uh, Sandopolis with both the, uh, the music and the, the stage elements. So we're just gonna go up this way, grab this. Detail of Eggman's like that one thing on the the fire plant things. I, I don't know. I like that. Alright, we're getting close to the end. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go on the submarine. I might go to the next one, but wait. I saw that. I saw you, you sneaky little ring box. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I am gonna go into this sub. Cause I, I because I play uh this version, this act two in Mania like not too long ago as well. I remember that there's some, like a bunch of stuff after this sub, so I'm just gonna like off to take the shortcut. No, I wanted, I wanted to grab the ring box! I, I swear that happens every damn time, and I hate it. And look at that, we're just cruising up the thing. Unfortunately, we missed that little bonus area, but... We are at the next sub, and I'm just gonna... Skip over it because we don't need it. Let's, let's get to the boss quick before the. There we go. Alright. Eggman's going down. One, two, three, four. That was four, I think. Or five. That! Really? The stupid claw thing? <laughs> Oh shoot, oh shoot, okay, okay. Ah, really? Oh my god, I see the rings in the oil. Where am I? Oh my god, I was underneath the platform, that is scary. I just, I just hear Sonic mashing the jump noise, and I got so scared for a second. And dead. Let's go. Screw you, Eggman. I win. Alright. Sonic got the rap, dude! That also means that Sonic and Tails got through this video. So, we are going to transition over to Lava Reef, but we are not going to play that just yet. We are going to be doing that next time. Okay, before I end, I just love that transition to just crash the submarine and sink it into the lava, but... Yeah, that does it for this video. Uh, next time, we're gonna be tackling... Um, 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 lava Reef. The Hidden Palace, kind of. Not actually the Hidden Palace, but like... Whatever subsection after. Which is kind of like the Hidden Palace. I actually... The boss arena that you fight normally with Sonic, Tails, Mighty, and Ray is actually like above the Hidden Palace, or at least somewhere in uh, the Hidden Palace, the section that Knuckles is supposed to take with the Master Emerald and stuff, but... And then after that, we're gonna be taking on Metallic Madness, so... And maybe Tatiana Connor, but I cannot confirm that. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then... Make sure to hit that there subscribe button for my channel. You should also subscribe to my friends, Prism, Jumper Beast, Super Mario Power, and Michael Game Show. You might enjoy their content and you might find me in some of their videos. Their links are in the description. Oh, and also, don't forget to like the video. And that's all I got, so I'll see you guys in the next one.